Hey, what is up guys? I device help here. Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope you guys had a chance to enjoy the holiday break with friends and loved ones. I hope you guys have a great 2020. By the way, a quick thank you to all my subscribers for watching, liking my videos, supporting my channel. I had a record-breaking 2019 and I want to thank you for that. So here's for 2020. This is the first video for 2020 and I want to start by talking about a very important topic and that is iOS 14. And now iOS 14, of course, will most likely make its debut this year on the first or second week of June. If history is any indication, we usually see WWDC kickoff during these two weeks. So we're approximately six months away or so from the filming of this video to the first beta for iOS 14. And I want to talk about some changes and features that Apple needs to make to iOS with the next major update in order to bring iOS to its full potential and also really address some issues with the OS. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys will agree. Now, I did film a video right before the holiday break on some of the wish list features and those are features that I wish Apple will add to the iPhone in iOS 14 which is a little different from this video this one again is features and changes that Apple just really needs to make if you want to watch that wish list video links will be in the description and down below so let's get right into it now the first thing I want to talk about is probably the number one request or change for iOS and that is a new incoming call UI. So when you get a phone call on the iPhone, there's really not much you can do. Right here you see that when you get an incoming call, it is intrusive and takes up the entire display. You can't really do anything, you can't dismiss it away. The only thing you can do is either decline or accept the call. These messages and reminder options are pretty much declining the call as well. Sometimes you just want to flip it away as a notification and let it ring in the background. If it's something important, I'm pretty sure the person will leave a voicemail or text you. This incoming call UI really needs to be addressed. This is no longer a wish list feature. Apple needs to fix this issue. And yes, it is a few seconds while that incoming call comes in, but it feels forever when you're doing something on your iPhone and you're just sitting there waiting for the call to just go away because you don't want to decline it or accept it, which is very, very annoying. So incoming come and call you why definitely a change that needs to be made with iOS 14. Next, I want to talk about the lock screen, and I'm pretty sure you guys will agree there's just a ton of room for improvement. There's two things in this category. Number one, the customization of the lock screen should be a thing with iOS 14. Apple should learn from watchOS. In watchOS, we can long press here, and you see we get these customized buttons at the bottom, and we can change different elements of the home screen for the Apple Watch. Why not bring this same concept to the lock screen of the iPhone where you can long press and change these elements, make it maybe the weather. There's sometimes uh, things that you want to change from the lock screen. For example, I would like to have the temperature, the weather on the lock screen because sometimes I just want to know what the temperature is outside before I head out. Yes, I can look outside and see if it's raining or sunny, but I don't know the temperature. So quick glance at the iPhone on the lock screen and see the temperature and the weather would be great. The customization of the lock screen is very, very important. Also, customizing the lock screen buttons at the bottom here, these shortcuts is very important as well. I think Apple should allow users to do that. Overall, just add any widget as you see here from some of these jailbreak tweaks to the lock screen that suit you better, All right, The weather as you see here, as I mentioned before, the ability to customize these buttons, there's just so much room for improvement on the lock screen of the iPhone. Now, with customization and weather for the lock screen, these two changes i also have one more request on the apple watch if you have the fifth generation apple watch you may notice that when i tap here or close the screen it's still dimmed but it's still visible i can see certain elements i can see the time it is not active but if i tap it brings it back to life that is always on display and i think apple should bring that technology over to the iphone with ios 14. these devices are capable of doing this it can drop the refresh rate here as you see the apple watch will do that and then it will actually light up completely when you bring it up just like so it would actually bring the light back into the home screen or the lock screen of the device. Just very similar from the watch, Apple should add this to the lock screen of the iPhone in order to provide a better user experience. Sometimes you just, again, want to glance at your phone without having to pick it up. And if you have it on the lock screen, it's always off unless you have to tap on there in order to see any information. So always on display, 
customizable lock screen with weather and widgets also of course we can add different elements and change it also the incoming call ui these are things that apple needs to change to the os in order to just bring it to the next level and address certain issues with the os i hope you guys enjoyed changes and features that apple needs to make with ios 14 again ios 14 the first glance will most likely be towards the first or second week of june of 2020 it should be a major update to the os hopefully apple will address a ton of these if you want to watch my wishlist features again video linked down below thank you for watching see you guys real soon peace